Welcome to the Visual Productions Personality Builder Tutorial 1. My name is Bart and in this tutorial we are going to add a 4 channel LED power. First we are going to add a new manufacturer by clicking add next to the manufacturer section. Once a new manufacturer is added we are going to rename the manufacturer. For example my manufacturer. Once the manufacturer is created, we can start adding models by clicking Add next to the model section. Now we can select the newly created model and rename it. In this example, LED bar 56. When the model is renamed, we can start editing the model and adding the mix values to it. In this overview, you can see the DMX layout, modes, subs and all the parts included in the fixture. This is still empty, so we're going to add new parts. First, we're going to add a dimmer. Click Add to add a new part, then select the dimmer from the parts list. Once the dimmer is added, select the dimmer and click Edit. Our LED bar can only operate in normal 8-bit mode, so you only have to add a control MSB. Since our dimmer is a channel 1 and uses the whole channel, we do not have to change the channel or the range. Click Close to add other parts. Back in the Editor Overview, click Add to add new parts. In the parts list, select color mix and click OK. Now edit the color mix part to add the RGB colors to it. The color mix part can contain multiple color ranges. Red, green, blue, Cyan, magenta, yellow, amber and white. Our fixture only has RGB colors, so we can click the Add RGB button to add the RGB color ranges. You can see that all the color ranges have the same channel. To change the channel, double click the Channels column and click Change. Change the channel to the channel of the first color range and click OK. You can see the other channels are changed as well. Click Close to go back to the Editor Overview. Here you can see your dimmer and your color mix part that you've just added. Now close the Editor's Overview to go back to the main screen of the Personality Builder. Our LED fixture is done. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.